good morning good afternoon good evening i'm hoping my connection is better than it was earlier because we are having some issues in ireland my tv went off the internet went off so um even through the show this evening the connection was really bad so i'm just checking to see my sound before i go forward Okay, that sounds great. I think that sounds great. So we can connect, continue. As I said, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to BWTN Sports. We've just finished watching Bremer versus Brand for the in the world of boxing super series uh, quarterfinals. It was the last quarterfinals. You know, Rob Brand from America had been on our channel a few times. Very articulate man, Rob Brand, and uh, the only American in the tournament. And there were high hopes in America that Brand could have got through to the next round. In the opposite corner, Jürgen Bremer, two-time light heavyweight champion of the world, moving down to super middleweight for the first time in a number of years. In terms of both fighters, we didn't quite know what each fighter could do, how good each fighter was. I guess Brand was unbeaten, but I'd never fought anybody as good as Jürgen Bremer in the pro game. And as for Jürgen Bremer, well, he was he had seen better days. And at 40 or 41, I have all these now, people say, well, Jürgen Bremer wasn't peaking. He was probably at the end of his career and questioned uh, why Jürgen Bremer was part of the tournament. Uh, Jürgen Bremer fighting for the first time at super middleweight. And there were question marks whether Jürgen Bremer would be able to deal with uh, a younger, fitter, fresher, hungrier fighter that would put pressure on him. Brandt himself questioned the fighting heart of Jürgen Bremer and said that he kind of, in the cleverly fight he didn't fight as well as he could have done or he kind of looked for a way out um also coming into this fight brant who had fought a light heavyweight as an amateur actually started was fight his career in this career as a pro at middleweight and many questioned whether brant was big enough to fight at super middleweight so there were questions was a was brant big enough did bremer have anything left to all the rest of these questions and you know uh, what happens if bremer put the pressure somebody put the pressure on bremer now um what would happen you know the also thing is the backstory of germany well if the fight got if the fights in germany and it's bremer then they're not going to allow bremer to um they're gonna they're not gonna allow bremer to lose and bremer would win the fight on points without a shadow of a doubt well bremer made sure they didn't need the judges because it was such a masterful performance from him let me say something right here now jürgen bremer is an elite fighter and and you know he showed good boxing skills, good footwork, in and out movement, able to counter switch things up. Now I've said, and you've heard me say a number of times, you need to be adaptable in this tournament. You need to be able to do different things. Bremer showed he could fight a bit on the inside, showed a bit he can fight on the outside, showed some counter punching skills, showed different angles when he was throwing his shots, able to slip away and move, uh, made himself elusive at times, then stood in the pocket at times, then was on the outside, judging distance and timing. Jürgen Bremer put on what I would call consider a masterclass of boxing tonight against a guy who was young, you know, unproven at world level or elite level. Um, you know, Brant could come again at world level, but I think Bremer's an elite fighter. And I think, you know, Bremer, even at this stage, experience, a good chin, good boxing ability, able to switch it up, mix it up from head to body, you know, little short little shots on the inside. Um, Bremer to me looked revitalized at super middleweight to be honest he looked he looked impressive to me good footwork good boxing ability took took good shots um and even when Brant tried to put the pressure on him he was there answering Brant Brant back every time and more um so I was very impressed with Jürgen Bremer very impressed not just because he beat Rob Brant but because he actually looked good it wasn't a fight where you could say yeah we the Germans gave it to him because he's Germany germans would give it to him because he boxed well um i think he got i didn't see the end of the fight but in my mind i thought that, that bremer more than won the fight so you know um as of rob brant i don't think people can be disappointed in rob brant i think he gave it all for me i'd like to see him maybe throw more feints in the fight i'd like to see him brant maybe try and work the body more i'd like to see him brant maybe you know when when uh, bremer's nose was busted maybe work the nose more get inside maybe use a bit of the head 
But these are all things, these are old man tactics, some of them getting inside, using a bit of the elbow inside and trying to rough up the nose and trying to cause more damage to the nose, make it more difficult for Jurgen Bremer to breathe. Didn't see Brandt do those kind of things. It seemed very much a lot of the same things. What I liked about Bremer, he made Brandt miss, he made him pay, he made him go off balance. You know, sometimes he hit him with a left straight through the middle. He'd line him up with a right hand and then put the left hand straight down the middle. And other times he would curve, the, he, he would use the left hand and then throw the odd right hook inside. Or sometimes Brunt would be throwing a combination and would back out. And when he's back straight back up, Brain would drop a, a left hook or a right hook into the body, into the, into the, into the solar plexus or into midriff. Very good fighter there, Jurgen Bremer. Experienced, done it, seen it, done it. Defended his world title numerous occasions in, in Germany. And, um, yeah, I think uh, Callum Smith has got a real um, task in his hands. The thing Callum Smith has got, he's fighting at super middleweight, natural super middleweight, could fight a light heavyweight. Um, but I don't know how Callum Smith handles pressure. And when Jurgen Bremer starts letting them left hands go, it'll be interesting to see how Callum Smith who himself is what I call static upright. Um, I've never been a big Smith fan. Well, we're going to see how he deals with somebody who's as loose and has um, got great rhythm, Jürgen Bremer. Jürgen um, Bremer, very, very, very skillful. Very skillful. Um, uh, Crystal Clear now says Peter Powell. Coping Doe 9 says Big Bryant, just too small, to be honest. That's he was. Just same thing with Jamie Cox, but you've seen two smaller fighters that have shown good chins. Is it that they've got very good chins or is it that they're so used to fighting guys uh, and, and seeing the punches coming that they can make the movements? We'll see. But um, both Cox and Brant, that might be a fight in the future, Cox v. Brant. Who knows? Um, it was a gamble moving up. Didn't pay off, but it's given him a profile. Definitely, definitely for Rob. He's got a good profile in life fighting Jürgen Bremer. No disgrace getting beat by uh, Jürgen Bremer as well. I mean, Jürgen Bremer is an elite fighter. He's not a bum. He didn't get done by a bum. He got done by a guy who's legitimately an elite fighter and legitimately has got a good claim of being the, winning this tournament. You know, I'm not just saying that because he beat Rob Brandt, because he's got the skills to do it. You know, um, defensively more responsible than Groves and Eubank. Um, has been in wars and has fought better opposition than Groves. Well, you could say he's, done, he's fought better opposition than Eubank. And as for Groves, well, we'll see how he does. Against a guy, you know, Groves Groves has got to get past Eubank. So those two will probably beat one another up first. And then you've got Callan Smith, Jürgen Bremer. I don't think he's going to struggle too much with Callan Smith. So then he'll be in the finals. Matt B says, people forget that Bremer was up on all three scorecards against Cleverly. He's a skillful boxer. He is. Um, I think Bremer will be too much for Smith. Too experienced. Still has his reflexes. Strong backhand and cannot whip his opponents. Smith is not world level. I've said that before. Um, Smith beats him because he will use the tactic that Rob didn't cut off the ring, get closer, pressure, pressure, pressure. The older man, Rob, uh, uh, tired the older man. Rob tried to box wrong tactics completely. Clev tired him. Yeah, that's true. It'll be interesting. But you see, again, bigger man, Callan Smith, height, reach, different proposition. Um, Bryant showed good initiative to step up and test himself. Got excellent exposure, a nice little pocket of money. Go back to 160 and build your career. Still a real talent. Absolutely. Rob Brunt will come again. I will not be spending a lot of time on this tonight because we've got Bermain Stavern live and exclusive tonight. We won't be doing an interview with Bermain. We're just going to sit back and talk and chill. Talk about the boxing that's coming up. Uh, Joshua versus Tackham. Talk about um, his friend Robocop, we got Joe Joyce. Um, talk about Dillian White's fight with Hellenius. And just chill and talk to Bermain. Uh, so we'll be talking to him at midnight. And after that, we've got a very special treat coming up for you boxing fans. We're going to have, we're going to talk to a man called Ray Robinson, making a lot of noise in the welterweight division. Um, he just beat Breedus Prescott. Um, I know people say, well, Breedus Prescott's shot. He's the guy that, first guy to knock out Amir Khan. Um, so he beat Breedus Prescott and Crawford did the same thing too. He, early his career, got beat by Sean Porter on points. So, um, Brant was was served that work by a man who was written off. Absolutely, he was served good and proper, and that's a good fighter. He beat, I think, Bra Bremer beat a good fighter. 
he beat a good fighter. Um, ask Bermain whether he will fa thank BWT in sports if he wins live on air. Well, I think that's going to happen. We'll see. I'm going to talk to him tonight. So we'll be talking to Bermain Stavern at midnight tonight. And then we'll be talking to Ray Robinson straight after. Ray Robinson, the man from Philly, uh, trying to make a name for himself in the welterweight division. So we'll be looking forward to talking to Rob um, Robinson. And we're looking forward to talking to Rob Brown afterwards. Get to know what it's like to fight in the World Super Series tournament, to fight Jurgen Bremer from his point of view. We'll be talking as well to, at some point, Derek James, hear his perspective of things. So that's it for me. Not much to say apart from congratulations, Jurgen Bremer. Listen, I wrote Bremer off. I thought Bremer was done. I thought he was finished after the Cleverly fight. I actually thought he was finished. I thought that was the end of Jurgen Bremer. But man, he's come back to down at super middleweight. He's lost, a, I was thinking, eight pounds. And he looked better at super middleweight than he did light heavyweight. To be honest, he looked sharp, rejuvenated. Callum Smith has got a handful on his hands there. So if Callum Smith can take the power of Jurgen Bremer, which is no foregone conclusion. I've never been a big Smith fan. Um, but we're going to see whether he's versatile enough and he can move. You know, the thing that Brant had in his favour is that he can move. He had better footwork. He had better footwork. Oh, I see what people are saying there. It's, it is coming out. Takam had nine days preparation for AJ. So happy I didn't bet on this. But let me tell you something. AJ is at his heaviest ever. Well, if for somehow Takam can get in the second half of the fight and he can put AJ under pressure, wow, what a shock that would be. So we'll be talking to the main Stavern at midnight. So in 15 minutes, we'll be talking to Stavern. So you can sit down and chill with me. I'll have my camera up. So we'll be able to sit down, have a nice little conversation with Mr. Stavern and have some fun. Right. I'll be out here. I'll see you all in 15 minutes. One bloke lost two grand. Oh, wow. Two grand. That's not good. Two grand. Where does this place Bremer against the other contestants? For me, for me, not based on the Rob Brown performance, but you've got to base it on that. You know, you saw uh, Groves knock out Cox, but he looked he he was he's had, he had his own problems before he knocked out Cox. You had you back knock out that guy who the robot that nobody really knew anything about. It was a bit of an unknown. The best performance you've got to say, I would say, is Bremer. Because he didn't knock the guy out. He showed boxing ability. He showed versatility. He showed he can box on the inside. showed he can box on the outside. showed versatility. It will be interesting to see whether Eubank and Groves can adapt their style when they fight one another. Because I think both of them are defensively vulnerable. So any one of them could go. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, I think that Eubank, I think Groves is a tougher, tougher test than Saunders. Because Groves is heavy-handed and the super middleweight. Um, I think Eubank is, is is definitely vulnerable down the left side of his body. So vulnerable. He's open to the big right, straight right hand. As for St. Groves, um, St. George, I think that uh, Eubank, Eubank won't be out boxing George from the outside. He's going to have to get on the inside. All I know is that Johnny Nelson's is, is Joshua's ice wiper. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, we'll talk about that. And of course, we'll get um, Stavern's opinion on Robocop. So we'll talk about that as well. Right. I'm out of here. See you in 15 minutes, people. Let people know 15 minutes back here. Stavern in the house. See you soon.